Okay, we got a poly tank here that's used for hauling water. There was a bracket that mounted here for a small pump and it wore a hole in it right here. There's actually a crack, it leaks right there. The sad part is it's only about a quarter of the way up, so we're losing a lot of our volume. I don't know if you'll be able to see that crack here. Yeah, you can see it right there. It looks like a little plus sign right there, tip my finger. So I'm gonna show you guys towards the end of this video a really quick and easy way to fix this. And uh, it's so silly that most people don't even think about it. But uh, before I do, I'm gonna show you another way that we're gonna use a fiberglass resin jelly kit. We're not gonna use the patch kit, the fiberglass repair kit that comes with the matting. This new fiberglass resin jelly kit. It costs 22 bucks, I got it at AutoZone. And uh, let me show you how to install this. When I'm done, if you watched all of the video at the end, I'm gonna tell you what I would have done with this and how quick and easy it is. And you're gonna go, dang, how come I never thought about that? That's so silly, it's stupid. So easy, we, yada yada. So, all right, let's get started with this first. We'll explain that later. I'm gonna take an 80 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna sand the area that's gonna be uh, applied this jelly resin to and a little bit further even than what we're applying. So um, you can see the crack is about maybe an inch across, inch and a half to two inches down. So I'm just gonna go out here about four or five inches and just sand that whole area. Let's get that going. Okay, so we sanded that area plus a little larger and I've noticed there's another spot right down there so that's good we'll fill that in too now all that color that you see the blue is actually the small flakes of the polyurethane so now we're gonna blow it off get all the dust off white. now we've got it all blown off but it's still not clean so, let's go ahead and open up the box and check out what's in this contents now. Okay, so, we got the box opened up here. Looks like that's to spread the resin, maybe. Now, I've personally never used this jelly kit. Just heard good things about it. Now, it does come with some mesh. Alrighty. So, it looks like this is going to work like a, like a Bondo, a filler. Probably just mixing this and this, and only when it's in uh, a really... A hard spot or a part that needs a lot of reinforcement you'll reuse this so I'm guessing we're gonna mix this up put this on first then we'll place the padding on it then we'll put some more on this after it dries we can cut that out but uh, if it's not a really bad one we probably just use this and this so let me read the directions on here and uh, understand completely how it works now I think if you're gonna use this if this works like a regular fiberglass kit if you're gonna use this for a car and actually I have a fender that has a nick in it that's um, a fiberglass fender. If you need to know how to repair that, let me know and I'll show you. Um, what I like to do is to use this with the matting, repair the fender, and I still put a little body filler on it uh, before I prime and paint it. So, But we can go over that another time. So let's go ahead and figure out what our mixture is and get this mixed up. Okay, so it looks like it's just like Bondo, except the, instead of the Bondo we have the jelly and, and, and of course the matting. So, and I looked at the hardener, it looks identical. And the mixture is gonna be about the same. So this is pretty simple. So we're just gonna lay a, an area in there about this big, how much putty that we need to fill that. And then uh, we're gonna run about an inch, inch and a half of the hardener straight across it. So let me get that on there. And we're just gonna mix it up and apply it on. Now, you gotta clean that area too with soap and water. Let it dry, then we're ready for this stage. So let me put some of this on here with the hardener. Okay, I put enough on there that I thought I needed to fill the area. Now remember, when you put it on, put it on the way you want it and smooth it out the best you can, just like Bondo, because uh, it's going to be hard to grind this stuff off when you're done. This resin gets extremely hard. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the hardener. So you can see how much putty I have there. I'm going to place about maybe that much hardener right there. So let's get it mixed up and put on. Okay, so I've laid it on, it's spread on. This stuff was easier to work with than Bondo. I had more time to put it on than I do Bondo. And Bondo it has a lot to do with, too, how hot you mix it, how much hardener you put in it. gives you, uh, the more hardener you put, the less time you have to apply it. The less hardener, the longer you have to put, uh, to put it on. But keep in mind, you still need enough hardener to cure it. So I think what I did was perfect. I mean, that amount that you've seen, it felt like it went on really good and it's already tacking up. So 
I, I like to get, like I said, this is the first time I've used it and I'm really happy with it already. So um, I'm gonna fill this up with, with pressure after I'm done. And if uh, it ends up that it has too much pressure, I'm gonna show you the second method. I'll clean it off again, we'll put a layer on, we'll put the fiberglass uh, matting on it, and then we'll put another layer of this, but I really don't think it's gonna need it. It seems to be extremely strong already. So let's let this cure and then we'll sand it down. So it's only been about five minutes and it's already dry. And when I place my hand over it, I can feel still the chemical reaction that's going on. It is so warm. So uh, again, I'm, I think I'm gonna be happy with this. Um, but we're not done, stay tuned, because I wanna tell you that little tiny trick I, I we talked about earlier, how easy it is to fix this and you don't need to go through all this. Although this appears to be working great. Okay, so this, this particular situation doesn't require this to be nice and pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and sand it anyway. If you had an object that you were doing this to, you'd sand it down with uh, 80 grit now, lightly, then you'd hit it again with 180 grit, then you can paint it. If it's gonna be a really smooth surface, then do it with 80 grit, lightly, 180 grit, and then hit it with like a 300 lightly, and then prime and paint it. Um, so, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down. Okay guys, so I think this turned out great. It's just as hard as the, the poly itself, if not harder. So, very happy with this. Um, the only concern that I would have with this is the crack that's on the inside. If water came in between this, and we didn't clean this surface good enough before we applied this, the water could get behind it and cause it just a really large peel. So once again, I'll let you know, and I'm gonna try the mesh thing just in case that is a factor. So I uh, hope this helps you out. Now let's, let's talk about the other little trick. Now, this is so simple, it's silly. Um, you can run down, now this stuff here cost, uh, I think I told you $22. You can go to Harbor Freight and you can get just a drill hole saw for your drill, and it will drill a hole. And then, uh, and that's about $4. Then for about 15 bucks, you can go get you a valve, right? You know where this is going. How simple is that? So you just drill a hole in it and put a valve there. If you have the space for it and there's not something around it, who cares if there's a valve here, 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 here? Um, if you don't care, then that's a simple fix. You simply just put a valve in it and shut it off. So I uh, hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name for all my other how-to videos. And uh, that'll take you all to, if you just click on my name, it'll take you to all the other videos and you can see what they're all about. And we're gonna get some more of this fiberglass stuff going on. Now, the valve is still gonna be about $20, $25 when you install it for uh, the material and the drill hole saw. Of course, you can use the drill hole saw for your doors, for anything else, because it comes in a kit of about four different sizes. Um, but at the same time, the fiberglass repair kit, if you ever need it, you've seen how much I use. There's still a lot in there for $22. So, your call, which way you wanna go. Thanks again, guys. Enjoy.